Hi, I'm John, the Community Currency Engineer, Termel, and this is part three of the story of state lawmakers back bill to make California IOUs legal tender. Save the state like they did in Argentina when their small denomination bonds saved their provinces. So, are California IOUs constitutional? Well, you always get the shysters who gotta throw their two cents in. You got no right to build a lifeboat because the blueprint's illegal. You got no right to save yourselves because it's the job for the feds to do. And if they ain't doing it, too bad you gotta drown. Well, you don't. Schwarzenegger, don't forget, right to life always trumps any constitutional issue. Schwarzenegger calls emergency, more furloughs, a video of Schwarzenegger, and I went and put my comment there. Then, wanted on Craigslist, California IOUs, and this guy will pay cash for California IOUs. There they are. They're hardly even issued, and already other states and provinces are saying, we'll take them, and me in Canada, I'm saying, we'll take them too. Los Angeles time, trading of California IOUs catches regulators' eyes. Ooh, an informal market is springing up online for the IOUs that California began issuing. Oh, therefore, it might be treated as a security. California banks have said they'll redeem them as face value. So responding to proliferation of offers to buy the warrants, State Treasury's... Uh, Treasurer Bill Locker's office said it wouldn't redeem IOUs sold by one person to another unless they were accompanied by a notarized bill of sale signed by the original recipient. Hey, making them even harder to use. The government themselves. <laughs> making them harder to use. Anyway, uh, Municipal Securities Rulemaking Board, a national body that regulates the trading of municipal debt, it's looking into whether the IOUs should be considered securities and then nobody can trade them as a currency. If they are, anyone who makes a business out of trading them could be breaking federal law. Yes, sir. The IOUs have all the hallmarks of being a security. They're a form of payment, says Karen Casalego, a spokesman for the controller John Chang. Imagine that, finding ways to stop them from saving themselves. Banks accept California IOUs for deposit. Good stuff. The Federal Reserve did not prohibit banks from receiving California IOUs as legal tender for deposits. And according to the Los Angeles Times, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, City National, Union Bank, and other big banks were accepting the IOUs issued by the state of California for deposits. Uh, same day, July 7, banks reject California IOUs. So, according to the Wall Street Journal, among the newly defined banks, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America are not going to accept them. Get it right. Either they're going to take them or they won't. The fear, although there's no reason to assume this yet, is that California's other disgruntled creditors will jump on the bank's non-acceptance bandwagon in a show of defiance. We don't want your currency. We'd rather be broke and get nothing. <laughs> since two of the banks refusing to honor the IUs are controlled by the federal government, and since the remaining two are essentially being run by Washington insiders, the Obama administration's hands-off posture suggests it may be taking one of two possible stances. Well, what are they going to do? Stop it or help it? Who knows yet? Banks' plan to refuse California IOUs takes heat. Good. After taking multi-billion dollar bailouts from the federal government, some of the nation's biggest banks are declining to lend a hand with a different financial mess. After Friday, they won't accept IOUs issued by the state. The move would leave many businesses and families with pieces of paper and fewer options of getting their money now. Ah, but the big news, July 7th, 7 o'clock at night, p.m. State lawmakers back bill to make IOUs legal tender, July 7th by James P. Sweeney, Sacramento Bureau. <coughs> Sacramento. Republicans and Democrats alike embraced legislation Tuesday that would make California IOUs legal tender for all taxes, fees, and other payments owed to the state. Victory! They're going to save themselves. A unanimous vote in the Assembly Business and Professions Committee and support from the Democratic majority launched the bill on what could be a quick trip to the governor's desk. 
I think we can get this one done in the next two or three weeks if the majority wants to push it hard, Assemblyman Joel Anderson said after the hearing on his measure AB 1506. Until last week, the bill had been sitting idle in the committee with little apparent support and no date for an initial hearing. Before Tuesday, it was also unclear how Democrats viewed the idea. But with the state issuing nearly $230 million of IOUs since Thursday and no budget agreement in sight, a prominent Democrat expressed strong support for Anderson's bill and asked to be listed as a co-author. Quote, it's the recipients of these IOUs who are being punished for the actions of the governor and others who've gotten us into this situation, said Los Angeles Assemblyman John Perez, a member of the Democratic leadership. I appreciate what you're attempting to do here, unquote. Tuesday's vote was sent the bill to the Appropriations Committee, the last stop before the Assembly floor. The measure would then go to the Senate. A spokesman for Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger said the administration has no position yet on the proposal. He wants to keep laying people off, not pay them with IOUs. The state started issuing IOUs, formerly known as registered warrants, on Thursday after lawmakers and the governor agreed, failed to agree on a package of spending cuts and other measures to close a budget deficit that since has grown to $26.3 billion. There was little, if any, visible progress toward a new budget accord Tuesday, with no negotiating sessions scheduled between the governor and legislative leaders. While California is not broke, dwindling cash flow will push the general fund into the red and leave the state unable to pay all of its bills later this month. To manage available cash and make sure mandatory payments are met, Chang started issuing IOUs to vendors, individuals, local governments, and others on Thursday. Anderson's legislation simply declares the state must accept its IOUs as payment for any taxes, fees, or other payments owed to the state. The state already accepts its IOUs for payments of income taxes. Wow! Of course, they're not small enough to trade around. How is a poor person going to get rid of a $1,000 IOU? Some companies have fleets of vehicles and they pay all the motor vehicle fees, Anderson said. We have some companies that have to report to 14 different agencies and each one of those agencies has fees. To expect them to pay the fees and the taxes when they have yet to receive cash payment from the state is outrageous. As he addressed the committee, Anderson produced a two-inch stack of support letters for the bill. Among those were letters from Santee School District and the San Diego County Medical Society. This bill would save many businesses and individuals from severe financial hardship, wrote Dr. Stuart A. Cohen, president of the 8,000-member Medical Society. Anderson's measure is one of three pending proposals to redefine how IOUs can be used. They could no longer be used to pay income tax refunds under SB 23, stupid, and AB 775 would prohibit the use of IOUs for payments to local governments, stupid. So two stupid resolutions to impair the use of IOUs as local currency and one smart resolution to make it legal tender and illegal currency. Wow. On the way to saving themselves and showing the way to the rest of the adult states in the United States. So, Governor Schwarzenegger has a choice. It says here, California budget bulldog Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's got a picture of him in his glory days when he was a muscle man. And in the next article is the banks will, big banks will turn down California IOUs, showing Arnold as he could end up in the history books. So, Arnold, you got a choice. You can be a muscle man or a gurney man. But it depends what you do in this decision coming up now.